happening right now. A new development in the VA investigation. The acting secretary is visiting the medical center right here in D.C. Our Brianne Carter is there this noon. She's joining us live. Brianne, what happened during his visit? Well, good afternoon to you, Jimmy and Andrea, the acting secretary here of the VA. Sloan Gibson still here inside of the medical center here in D.C. meeting with reporters after first talking to management and employees about what has been happening here. Over the past couple of days, he's been getting a firsthand look at a number of different facilities, including this one, which he toured earlier this morning, trying to get an update. He says that his priority remains getting those veterans off of lengthy wait lists and getting them in to see doctors, getting them into clinics. He announced a number of items and steps that are being done to do just that here at this D.C. facility. This morning, he announced that the team here has been working to reach out to veterans across the area and so far has contacted nearly 3,000 veterans here in D.C. trying to get them in and scheduled. He also said that about 2,000 appointments have been scheduled and they will take place in the coming weeks. He also said that they have allocated an additional $2 million in resources to try and help get those veterans off of the way. List. One other thing he mentioned that they have done here is that they are going to be adding three additional doctors and one additional physician assistant. He said that's a 7% increase when it comes to the clinicians here being able to see those veterans and get them in as quickly as possible. The clinic hours here have also been expanded. They say all of these measures will eventually help. Now, he couldn't give a specific date as to when he says that those people will be off the wait list and finally able to see a doctor, but he says they are working towards Towards those steps. The acting secretary said as well he knows that the trust of the veterans has been eroded when it comes to this department. He says they now have to work to gain that trust back. I will use every bit of authority I have at my disposal to hold people accountable who have committed acts of willful misconduct or managers that are uh, responsible for serious management negligence. Now, the acting secretary has said that he will continue to give updates on what is happening and the progress or lack thereof. We do expect another update when it comes to wait times that we're seeing at a number of different facilities. He said those numbers are expected to re be released tomorrow morning. Reporting live, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.